What an absolutely insane football match. What's going on everybody? Welcome to Football Therapy. With me, your host Jan. The match has literally just finished and if you've watched this game, like me, you would have lost a few years off your life due to a heart condition. I mean, Lampard ball is fun and all that, but Jesus! It's gonna take another inch off my hairline, man. So welcome back to the channel and welcome to the match review of Chelsea's Champions League group stage match against Valencia, away in the Mestalla, two all, an insane game, man. Ugh. Some really poor defending, some quite decent defending, some amazing goalkeeping performances from both keepers, if Kepa did make a couple of mistakes early doors. More chances than you could ever want from a football match. And both sides will feel frustrated that they didn't win, but ultimately Chelsea come away from this match in a slightly better position than Valencia do. Oh yeah, remember to subscribe to Football Therapy if you've not yet done so. Click the bell notification icon, like the video, come on, let's do it. Right, I'm gonna run you through <laughs> what happened in this game, or try to, and then talk about player performances and what it means generally. But going into this game, Valencia and Chelsea are both on seven points, right? Now, Chelsea, they both have a game left. Chelsea are at home to Lille. Valencia are away to Ajax. And yeah, now they've got another player that can't play in that game. So Chelsea are favorites to finish second highest in the group. But darn, they nearly lost that game and they nearly won that game. Let's run you through it. Let's open the analysis screen. Right, as per usual, next to me, I've used the Who Scored Match Center graphic to give you an idea of the stats from the game. Frank Lampard makes two changes from the game against City. He brings in Christensen for Tomori at center back and quite sensibly, what a lot of people were calling for, he puts Azpilicueta at left back and plays Reese James at right back. Valencia play their favored 4-4-2 as predicted. And this game gets going. The opening 10, hell, 20 minutes sets the tone. There's a lot of good interchanges. Chelsea are actually looking probably the brightest in the opening 20. A lot of combinations, some chances, and the atmosphere looks incredible in the stadium, but that's not affecting the Chelsea players, certainly at this point in the game. Really, the most notable thing that happened in the opening 20 minutes, and I'm going to tell you now, I won't be able to tell you all the notable things that happened in this game, because it was happening every five freaking seconds. But Gomez does miss an absolute sitter in the 19th minute, with the balls rolled across him, and instead of just tapping it into an open goal, he just lets it go through his legs and falls to the ground. The game starts to sort of spice up a bit. There's a lot of fouls, but I'm going to say it now and I'll probably say it again later in, in the video. The ref for me wasn't very good. He was giving like, when someone defends the ball and just puts their arm up, if it grazes the face of the op opposition player, he'd give the foul, which you wouldn't see in the Premier League. It was really soft fouls g being given everywhere. Come the 25th minute, Chelsea have the most possession, most passes, but the best two chances of the game so far had fallen to Valencia. So the rest for Chelsea was kind of hard chances. 30th minute, Maxi Gomez does miss another goal, but it's not quite the sitter that he missed a few minutes prior. He has a cross comes in, he takes a shot on goal and he puts it down Kepa's throat. Kepa was good to block it, but really, probably the forward should be doing better. Come the 35th minute, Kante's through on goal after a glancing layoff header from Tammy Abraham. He's running through. He could have probably run towards goal and taken a shot and probably converted but he tries to lay off William and he misspasses the ball to the Brazilian and the whole chance is dead. 36th minute, Kepa did have a good game after a penalty save in this match but he did his poor recent trick of passing it out to the opposition player. This is totally a confidence thing from Kepa. Chelsea do get out of jail. They go up the other end, do a wicked combination to try and score a goal and attack, ball lands to Kante, and you can tell when he tried to pass to William before his head's not in shooting, he gets underneath the ball and skies it over. A pretty decent Chelsea chance wasted yet again. The 38th minute, Tammy Abraham does some wicked footballing footballness, there's a technical term for you, and Sillerson makes an absolutely insanely world class save. And Abraham, it's one of those moments when he does something really good and he just can't believe he hasn't scored because he's been denied by something so good. He was looking pretty good at this point, Tammy. 40th minute, the Spaniards score. Soler converts from an amazing cross. It's a really good goal, to be fair. Kepa gets his hands to it, but it's just too late the way the ball was coming in. 1-0 Valencia. But in the 41st or 42nd minute, on his 72nd Chelsea appearance, that Croatian man, Mateo Kovacic, comes out, scores a 22-yarder, maybe? Low drive, curling to the corner so the keeper, Silicon can't save it. 
and Kovacic scores his first goal for Chelsea, making it 1-1, and Kovacic scoring a goal has absolutely no ramifications to do with me. In the 44th minute, Pulisic does a lovely little bit of a uh, attacking work play in the final third, lays the ball off to Kovacic, and Kovacic forces a save from Silicon. To be honest, the way the ball comes to him, now he's scored a goal, you'd be like, why didn't you score that Kovacic? In my opinion, he could have made that 2-1. So, half-time stats on my phone. Three shots to Valencia, 10 to Chelsea. Three shots on target to Valencia, three shots on target to Chelsea. Chelsea need to be more clinical. Um, and yeah, Chelsea had 61% possession away in the Mestalla, way more passes, better passing accuracy, as you'd assume. But like I say, the clear cut chances were coming to Valencia. But Chelsea, for all their attacking play, they need to be more incisive, more clinical. Towards the end of the half, Tammy Abraham endures quite a nasty looking injury in the penalty area. He gets he challenges in the air and he lands on a, another player's like legs and shins. And uh, it looks like maybe it wins him at first, but I think he might have broken a rib or two. Maybe something to do with his hip. It's really unfortunate because he actually gets stretched off after walking a little bit. I mean, it, in a way, I guess it's better that maybe it's not his Achilles or his ACL, but we don't know what it is yet. So hopefully Tammy Abraham gets better. So Batshuayi comes on in the second half for Abraham to his previous club Valencia that he spent like no time there and had a really unsuccessful loan spell. Chelsea gets set piece, don't do anything with it, comes back to Willian gets in the box again and then basically Pulisic gets on the end of a ball and scores a goal uh, it's a bit scrappy bit of a tap in 2-1 Chelsea but then it's ruled offside but then it goes to VAR for like four hours and it's given 2-1 Chelsea 57th minute another let off for Chelsea some dodgy defending from Christensen when the ball's lofted up he comes out Kepa comes off his line too early the ball falls to Rodrigo that really just needs to loft it into the goal he misses another golden chance for Valencia the following minutes have chances up and down quite a few from Chelsea most notably when they break going forward a foul is given against Kante when really it was a foul on Kante on what was a really good Chelsea chance yet again I'm saying it really poor refereeing and in the 63rd minute, Valencia get a penalty from a coming together between Jorginho and a Valencia player. I forget who it is. Now, it wasn't a penalty. It was a coming together. You could even look at it either way as a foul. When it could be a foul either way, it's just not a penalty. VAR look at it because they're like, mm, not sure. But they don't overrule it because it's not clear and obvious, which I get. But again, it's poor refereeing. Kepa, for all his low confidence and silly passes and at the moment and all that kind of stuff he's doing, makes a world-class penalty save. There's our boy. He doesn't celebrate it. He's like, there's a corner now, boys. Set yourselves up. Chelsea survives some more attacking play from Valencia. The game really starts to open up. Chances up and down, up and down. Chelsea are obviously leading still at this point, so Frank Lampard's like, right, I'm going to try some of this pragmatism. Brings Jorginho off, who's on a yellow card. Brings on Emerson, plays five at the back. I'm not sure this was the best idea in hindsight, but they do do a lot of defending from here. Shortly after, the ref gives Kante a yellow card for another foul, which wasn't a foul, and again... Really bad refereeing. <laughs> the game does not let up. It's up and down, up and down. Until the 82nd minute where Vass scores what is an absolute wonder goal from outside the right-hand side of the box that goes in, clips off the post and goes in. It's one of those goals that, yes, it was a cross. It's like when Zappa Costa first played for Chelsea and he scored that goal. You know it's a cross, he knows it's a cross, but it turned out to be a wonder goal. 2-2. <laughs> two, two. Nothing Kepa can do, but Chelsea immediately go up the other end of the pitch and Zuma gets on the end of a ball that comes from somewhere and it's cleared off the line. Uh, and then Valencia go down the other end and nearly score as well. My heart is hard to explain at this point. This epic game now enters seven minutes stoppage time. Now I guess that's probably from the super long VAR review. And it's up and down, up and down. Both teams are getting chances, but Rodrigo in the 96th minute he has his time to miss a proper sitter. All he needs to do is get any connection on this ball that's coming in and it will be in the goal. He falls to his knees. A few tacks after that, but the game ends to all. Right, let's talk to you about the game a little bit more. You've looked at the stats. Let's get rid of the analysis screen. Right, in terms of positive player performances, it was, again, a very good team effort. Obviously, Kepa made mistakes, but he made that penalty save, which was so, so crucial for Chelsea. Um, Kante was very, very good. 
the ref done him dirty. He just doesn't understand that someone can tackle that well from all angles. I think James was good, but he faded. I think he got a bit knackered and his awareness went down. As P was good. Tammy was good before he got injured. Pulisic was very, very good, but I have a feeling he has an issue with stamina, just keeping his ability to that high level to the end. Kovacic was so, so good. Not just the goal. Early doors, he was very good. Dribbling, you know, it's real silky pieces of... Uh, ball retention but he gassed out a little bit as well. Willian was frustrating for me. He was all the thing is he's always an outlet and he's on the ball all the time which actually means he's very good he's always in the right space he just slows the game down. I know that's his vibe he wants to stop time and then do something quick but in a game like this it wasn't great. Really Chelsea could have done with another winger playing that role. I mean I, I'm reluctant to always criticise William because he's, a lot of the game goes through him which is important. He just frustrated today. Michy came on and pretty much did nothing and really you know it was a team performance it puts Chelsea in a strong position two all they beat Lille at home hopefully who to be honest, they got nothing to lose so they'll be a threat and Valencia you just hope Ajax have to beat them and Chelsea you know come second in the group maybe always a draw over there and Chelsea get the win regardless an epic game I've only just started to try and calm down guys, but thanks for tuning into the match review today. If you enjoyed it, remember to like the video and subscribe if you're new, and I'm going to plug it, go check out my... If you like Chelsea and you like FIFA, go check out Yan Plays, link in the description, link in the top of the description. Follow me on social media, at Football Yannick, uh, Twitter, Instagram. I'm going to go and have a heart attack, heart attack, heart attack, I'm going to have a heart attack now, I'll see you later. Way so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines. I rap through thought. Body bag the verse. Outline the chuck. In my life, seen trouble. Hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle. Bad boy stay in trouble. I only love this paper. Sorry, I don't. I love me, baby.